Hi guys, welcome back. This is Rakhi Jha. Today I'm going to be doing this. Um, uh, it's bigger than a coaster. It's more like a platter in resin. And um, the idea is that I'm going to do one color and then I'm going to play around with alcohol ink to create a pattern. So I've already pre-mixed my resin over here that has been sitting for about five minutes. And then um, let me add the black color to this and let's get started. Okay. Mix this. See if we need to make it more opaque or more translucent. I'm going for a jet black opaque look because I want the alcohol ink um, to stand out uh, in contrast to it. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm making two trays today. Both the trays will have two separate patterns uh, in it. So this one, let's see what we can do. So this is become, this is going to be the, the base. That's about half the depth. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a quick run with this heat gun to burst the bubbles. And I don't wanna make it too hot because then the resin uh, starts to stick to the mold and it, it destroys the mold. You can even use a blowtorch, but you have to run with it very quickly. Okay, I think that's good enough. It's just warm air, not very hot. And that pretty much looks like it's popped most of the bubbles. And that's good. That's a pretty shiny reflective surface. Okay, so in this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna do like rings, one on top of the other, uh, like a puddle pour. If you guys have done some fluid acrylic art, then it's just one color over the other. And let's see what pattern it makes. So let's start with, hmm, let's start with the honey gold. And right at the center, I'm going to add this. Okay. You can see it instantly react. And it makes this beautiful sort of frayed pattern. All right. After that, I'm going to go with this lemon yellow. And I'm making a very sort of a rigid, symmetrical sort of design. The other one, I think, uh, which is double the size of this, I'm going to go with a more organic design. Okay, then I go with maybe rich gold.
silver. Ooh, oops, sorry. <laughs> All right, that was not intentional. Okay, no harm done. Okay. Let's go with some brighter colors. right now. pretty let's try this okay, let's try a deeper color first it's but it's fire This is called marmalade, sort of like a bright pink. It's almost like it's giving a rose effect. And this is grape. Go in there with rich gold. Copper. Then I'm going to go back and do silver a bit more this is a charcoal color i just want to see how it looks against the silver oh not again okay one time is a mistake twice is just dumb silver then. Fix that a little bit. Okay. Charcoal. This is again, uh, I think it's lemon. Oh, it's just disappearing. Okay, 
let's try one of the brighter colors. Blueberry. Beautiful color, grape. Candy color. Marmalade. I like this color. Looks good against the black. I'm wondering if I should stop now. It's slightly off-centered, but it's still beautiful because this is just organically long. Wondering what I made, how I made that blue. That blue is beautiful. Try that again. Try this ocean color. Let's try emerald green. Go with some of this honey. It's also a beautiful color. That's it. I like the way it ends in that yellow. Now, I'm going to try to make a pattern out of this. She's turned green. The blue and the thing has turned green. So I'm going to do some silver and then end it with that yellow. I think that'll look nice. Yeah, that silver looks nice. And then a bit of that honey yellow. Doing something different. It's not a perfect circle as I would have liked. So maybe here's the gold, rich gold. Let me try that. A 
that's pretty I like that A bit of grape. Ooh. It's made an orange color. And then go back with the lemon yellow. And maybe give it a quick run with the blue very quickly. See any bubbles? That's really pretty. Oh, my God, that color. All right. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to do a little bit of a pattern. Just wondering if I should do two patterns or just one pattern. Okay, let's just do one pattern. If you don't want to go too deep, then you'll scratch your mold, but deep enough so that it makes a pattern. Three more pieces. And that's that. Nice. That's how beautiful this has turned out in black and all these different colors that I've added to it. Just trying to avoid the glare. You see the details. It's just beautiful and it just keeps organically changing. But the pattern more or less remains. Uh, just the colors spread a little bit more and blend a bit more. And that is just one gorgeous piece. So guys, thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this, uh, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, you will keep getting notifications of my new work and um, see you in the next video very soon. Thanks for watching again. Bye. Have a nice day.